If you like exploration and you're not familiar with ED Scout, then you should stick around and watch this video because it's an amazing tool for explorers. Today's video is sponsored by Secret Lab. We all strive for the best possible gaming experience, but the importance of a good quality chair is often underestimated. Secret Lab produces some of the most comfortable and high quality gaming chairs you can get. So upgrade your commander chair today and fly in style and comfort. Follow the link in the video description to their store, type in your height, your weight, and it will tell you which chairs fit you for the best possible seating experience. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Late Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. So today we're going to take a look at a tool called ED Scout. Very handy little tool that is extremely useful for explorers. I'm going to show you towards the end of the video where you get it, how you install it, how you make it work, and also how you can run it off like a tablet or something if you want to do that. But for now, let's just quickly pull up the interface. So I just jumped into the system. I haven't honked it or anything. The list you can see down here is my current route and all the systems in my current route. The little letter here in the brackets in the front is the class of the main star in the system. And the question marks out here is the map value. But because these systems has not been discovered yet, we don't know what the map value are. You can see some of the systems down here has been discovered, and we can see their value out here. And they are of course grayed out because they're already known. Up the top here, you can see the current system that you're in. We have the main star right here, and I managed to just proxy spot a few belt clusters um, and here you can see the distance to those clusters in, in light seconds and the value of the different objects. If we just start by going ahead and honk the system, let's see if there's any more stars in here. There's not, but there's 15 bodies. That's perfect. So we're going to jump in here to our FSS scanner. Now, there's nothing really here that's that interesting, but we can still use it to show you. So I'm going to find my first body here, and then keep an eye on the UI here as I move in. You see that was a rocky ice body that just popped up here. We can see it's 95 light seconds away and we can see the map value if I were to go and map this planet. And I can just keep going here, keep looking for more planets. I moved a few systems further down the route because to be honest, the first system we're looking at weren't really that interesting. And I want to find something a little bit more interesting. And I've spotted a, a water world in this system here and already there are high metal content body we can see those could be quite valuable it's not terraformable though so we're just going to keep scanning this until we find the water world and there we actually found one you can see on the small icons here you can see this like a, a small hill with a flag that means the planet has not been mapped yet i can then of course go and map it the little icon next to it means that it is terraformable. And that is, of course, why you will see the top high metal content body being highlighted in orange. Because it's a high value, they will also put it at the top and be highlighted. Oh, there we go, a rocky body. You can see the little blue icon there. That is an icon indicating that it is a landable planet. And there's one more icon. See, we can get that to spawn as well. And there we have it, a nice body with a nice little volcano. And that, of course, means that the planet has volcanism on it, so this case here is water geysers, but it could be anything. And there we go, my system scan is now complete, and I can now easily go over to ED Scout, and I can see I should probably go and map the high metal content world, planet 1, and the water world of planet 2. Both are within a thousand light seconds, so pretty damn easy, and it's gonna yield me almost five million credits for mapping those two planets. Now, in order to get your hands on the tool itself, you can head over here to GitHub. Of course, there will be a link for it in the description, and here we can see the tool is created by John Cage. We have pretty much all the files um, located here, and there's a small readme file on here that explains how, you, how the tool works and how you install it. There's also a nice little uh, legend here, so you can see basically what the different elements in the UI is and, and how that works. Now down here we have some command line options. What you can do here is you can go ahead, you can open a command prompt, and you can run this command here. Uh, you probably have to change the host uh, IP. I would assume this is going to be your local IP and your local network. And you can set whatever port you want it to, uh, to run on. And it said that if the firewall is set up, you'll then be able to go to a browser on, for instance, a phone. You can see you go here to the IP and then a colon, followed by the port number. And you will now have the same interface that I've just been showing you, which I've just been running on a secondary monitor. You can now get that on a tablet in a browser. Very, very neat, meaning you can run this on a secondary device if you want to. I love that. Now, 
If you want to actually install it, you of course you go up here, you go into the download version. In here you can get it, of course, you get to download this exe file. And we can see it is open source, so you can also get zip or uh, tar files if you're more of a Linux type guy, where you can get the source code available, so you can go sit, play around with it yourself if you want to. But from here it's pretty straightforward, it's a standalone exe file, meaning there's no need to go and install it, you just run it, and when you're done with it, you close it, so you can, it's very portable, easy to take with you. It's a very nice little tool, and I can see this being extremely useful for all you guys who are out there in the black, exploring the depth of space. I hope you liked this video, if you did, give it a like, subscribe, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.